This is an absolutely ridiculous testimony. You need to share this. It's crazy. Look, I was on a plane coming back from Seattle to Baltimore. It was, a, it was an evening flight. And on our flight, about an hour in, there was a, something in the back and the flight attendants were going up and down. So I was like, what's happening? So I was right in front of the veil. I got upgraded on the flight, thank God. But I'm sitting there and I'm looking back and I can't see, but there's a flight attendant on the ground and a man had fallen and passed out. They didn't know why and was on top of her and had hurt the lady's ankle and she's pinned on the floor. I want to go back. They asked for a medical professional. I raised my hand because I've got Jesus, the healer that's inside of me. So when they come to ask me, are you a doctor? No. Are you a nurse? No. I have to tell the truth. I said, but I've got Jesus in me. The flight attendant was like, please, sir, this is not a joke. I'm like, no, it's not a joke. I really want to pray. He goes, please stop. This is very, very important. So I'm like, God, this is crazy. So I asked this guy again. Then I asked him again. Then I asked him again. And then I asked him again. He got madder and more mad and more mad every time I asked him. So finally, the guy looks at me and says, I said, stand down. And he's screaming at me. And I couldn't believe what was going on. All I wanted to do is pray for this guy. So everybody in the front is like, please be quiet. Please, you're causing a serious ruckus. People do not like ruckuses on planes, especially when you're 35,000 feet in the air. So I just want to pray for the guy and I can't. So I said, Father, you've got to get this guy up because I've got to pray for him. I know you'll heal him. So all of a sudden I look back and the guy's getting off the floor and he's walking towards the bathroom and he's staggering towards the bathroom. So they go into the bathroom, which is right behind the veil. That flight attendant was angry at me, is up in the galley, kind of standing around the wall so he can't see me. So I quick got up. I didn't go in the back, but I did reach my arm around the veil and asked, hey, can I pray for him? And the lady was like, uh, sure. So I prayed for him in the name of Jesus. I command this thing to leave you now. And his eyes got all clear and he goes, Amen. And the flight attendant was so freaked out. So man, I turned around and the other flight attendant is in front of me with an oxygen tank and a, and a hose saying, I told you to stand down. You will obey my authority. So I sat down because the guy's healed. This flight attendant, this nurse was like, he just prayed for him. And that flight attendant argued with her. He told me I was going to prison when we landed. It was crazy. We get off the flight. I didn't go to prison. I went off the flight and I got an email two weeks later. It was from that, that lady in the back, that one flight attendant. Why? She was on a missions trip in Jamaica and someone told her that some guy with dreads, that some guy with dreads, the guy you're talking about, that's Todd White. I know it was Todd White. She looked it up. Sure enough, it was. She told me that that time on the plane changed her life and gave her faith to step out. Look, if you guys would step out in faith, you'll give other people faith to step out.